Hi, down in the dumpster room, today's find is, ta-da, a Konica Minolta Biz Hub C284E. Um, yeah, look at that, that looks fancy pantsy. Might wheel that back to the dungeon and uh, see if she works. Unbelievable, I assume it's on wheels. Hi, just an update video in this uh, Konica Minolta Biz Hub that I scored from the uh, dumpster. It's a C284E uh, color jobby for those playing along at home. Uh, does it work or not? Got it back here into the dungeon and uh, wah, 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 wah. It does absolutely nothing um, at all. So, uh, yeah, I uh, took some panels off. I did actually find a service manual for this thing. Believe it or not, it's 1,500 pages long. I am not kidding, or 1,480 or something. Um, it's insane. Haven't had a decent look, but uh, I can't actually find uh, the info for the, um, you know, like how to service the power supply or whatever. So I presume it's the power supply's bug. And here's the mains input here. I put whacked a power meter on it. I'm getting nothing. So I measured it with a meter. I'm getting nothing. So, and there's no physical manual power switch on it that I could find. That'd be embarrassing if there was um, on it. So it's an electronic power button. So I expect some sort of standby, but I measure absolutely nothing. But anyway, um, there you go. Uh, the panels come off uh, quite easily. Actually, I'm quite surprised. And yes, there is a hard drive in it. I know people want me to read that. I might, but these are usually uh, like encrypted in some way, I do believe. But I might just, uh, that's pretty easy to rip out, so I could just actually uh, take that out, take it upstairs and give it a uh, read. Might do that, but anyway, I'm not really fussed about what uh, they used on there. But I think the power supply, because here on the side, here's the trays. So uh, it looks like... The power supply is probably behind here somewhere. I think I can see a single-sided board behind there, but I'm not sure if that's, you know, something like the fuser board, a power supply, or whether or not that's the actual mains power supply. I don't know where it is. Couldn't find it readily in the uh, service manual. I'm going to have a better look. Um, <laughs> service manual is enormous. It's insanely complex. But anyway... Um, there you go. Um, I'll get back to you. I'll try and get this cage out here, although this has all big cable looms and everything. Will it swing out? I don't know. I might have to take like the clips off before this. Like it looks like it swings out. It might swing out on here and here, these points here. Um, so it might, might actually, I don't know. Uh, yeah, all the cable harnesses are well integrated and tied down. It's very neat and tidy, so I'm quite impressed. But uh, yeah, unfortunately the power supply is just not easy to get to. It, you know, it could just be a blown input fuse or something like that, but can't access it. Bugger, I'll get back to you. All right, I do believe it's behind here. So let's get this out. I really do like how all the uh, panels just come out quite easily quite a few screws on it but apart from that it's uh seems to be designed for serviceability in mind and with the 1500 page manual it's just yeah there you go Ta -da! that looks like a power supply board it's not much in the way of uh dust in there a little bit of dust around the uh fan here but apart from that and uh this uh the back tray is a convenient uh one of the back trays there is very convenient for keeping your screws in. So anyway, yeah, we've got ourselves a protective shield there. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Got a couple of fuses there. And uh, no, that's that's going to the somewhere in the front. So, whoa. Yeah, no, this is all, uh, this is all for your boards. So this is the uh, secondary side. There's a couple of... At least three secondary side fuses in there, but uh, where we don't care about the secondary side, it's the primary side we're interested in. I can't see any magic smoke, so I'm gonna check the input fuses. So this cable, even though it's running over here into the front, um, it's coming from the back. There is no front power switch, so I don't know what's going on. Or is there a bloody secret power switch I haven't found yet? That'd be embarrassing, but. Nothing, that looks clean as a whistle. No, 
No Ernie Bernie marks. Uh, looks like no magic smoke has escaped. Looks like that's screwed in. Uh, but I can see behind there. No, it all looks in good nick. Huh, I'll get back to you again. Well, you guessed it. Uh, yeah, dumbass Dave. That's embarrassing. People are probably screaming at me. Oh, Dave, the power switch. It's inside the toner tray. Look, they've even marked it orange. Unbelievable. Oh, God. Anyway, we got a free teardown. Brilliant. Uh, and by the way, I did take out the hard drive. There's nothing. Um, yeah, you can't uh, read it. So uh, whether it's encrypted or whether it's in, you know, their native file system or something, I don't know. Couldn't be bothered. But uh, here we go. Tell you what, there's one nice touch I like. This uh, side plate, you'll know, right? Because when you're uh, servicing this thing, right, it's it's hard to sort of, you know, you've got to have like three hands, of course, to try. If you're putting it back on, um, you want something to hold it in place. And they've done that. They've got these two clips here. So you clip it over there and it just neatly holds it in place while you can access the screws. Someone was thinking, that's a really nice touch. All right, let's turn this dumpster turd on and see if it works. Yeah, I didn't see, totally didn't see that before because I was, this is things big and it's cramped in here in the dungeon now. I ain't got too much stuff. And um, yeah, I was looking down on it like this and uh, like I just didn't see it. So, switch on. Ping, ping, ping. Oh, LCD's gone, is it? LCD's gone. Aha. Uh -huh. No? Is that, I, I, that's a weird looking gone. That's all I can say. Uh, no, no, there you go, no, it works. There is an open compartment, yeah, okay. Okay, it works. <laughs> well, it powers up to the menu. That was a weird looking power up. It looked like, like, a, like a cracked LCD or something like that. Um, all right, warming up, ready to scan. Uh, how do you use this thing? Um, geez, this interface is really nice. By the way, it's got a pen. It's one of these uh, newfangled touch screens. So, yeah, all right. Well, how do I get into, like, test print or something? Application, finishing, original type. Uh, oh, geez, check setting. I don't know. <laughs> I got no idea. Okay, touch screen works. Everything's hunky-dory. Mmm, it's got that, mmm, it's got that powered-up toner smell. Mmm, wish this was smell of vision Oh, look, and the toner's good. Or is, is the black out or is the black showing full? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but the others are good. Okay. Uh, instead of a test print, I might just uh, put something in and see if I can scan it and copy. I'll get back to you. Actually, I didn't even check if this thing had an Ethernet or not or wireless or whatever. I've got no idea if it's even a printery thing. I'm assuming it can. Um, it's pretty fancy pantsy, but uh, auto color here. I've got something in the uh, on the plate. I'll show you if it works. Okay. Um, start, I guess. Start is copy. Let's go. Scanning original. Okay. I've got some paper in it. Will it work? Well, yeah, it just scanned. Jeez, that was quick. And come on, you can do it. Come on. Please work, please work, because my other A3 color printer is dead. Sagan just needed to print an A3 game that he had developed the other day, and it didn't work. And oh, look at this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I now have an A3 color photocopier with full toner cartridges tossed in the dumpster look at that um so i assume there's some way to uh like network it and uh, surely there's got to be come on please please tell me there's some way to do it um it's got like a i don't even it's got a usb port so uh, yes there's a usb port on the side here can't show you that right now but yep so maybe i can print from a usb that'll that'll do i'm gonna call that Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is perfect. Yes, that all those little black splodges are actually the original 40-year-old uh, catalogue. Um, so, yeah, well, 44-year-old catalogue. That is, that is a perfect copy. That is perfect. I can get it out and show you. Look at this. So, let's have a look. There you go. So that, 
That is pretty perfecta mundo. Wow, full A3 business copier thing. Just tossed into the <laughs> garbage room, the dumpster room. Unbelievable. And there's the uh, consumable life there, the developing unit and the drum unit. Uh, so it looks like this is 2015 vintage, is it? What's banner printing? Device information, there you go, version 7. And uh, it, it's got IP, it must have networking. I guess I haven't found the network connection yet. <laughs> yeah, it's got copy, scan, fax, no, like, printer thing but I think it can maybe do it from the USB because it's got like a, a enlarged display and it's got a media access display or something uh, counter there you go it's done 22,000 black uh, so oh, 300,000 what total copy plus print 300,000 wow okay it's done a lot but it still works so hats off yeah, 300,000 black, 315,000 uh, total, so not much in the colour, so it's probably on the original colour um, toner cartridges. And, uh, yeah, 300,000 black is a lot. So, I get, you know, some, I don't know, lawyer or something um, is just, just churning out black and white play pages like there's no tomorrow. I went into application here and check this out. It does books, page separations. <laughs> Look, Wow. This really is uh, an amazing interface here. Edit color, got book layouts, really qu very comprehensive. Wow, I don't know if it does, does it do, I don't think it does stapling or whatever, but geez, uh, copy protect and stamp, you can do, yeah, you can do your watermarks and stamping, other program, card slot. What's that? Is there a card slot somewhere? And in this handy storage tray down here, not only do, were they kind enough to dump it with the uh, original power cord, but we've got the original uh, CDs as well. Look at that, all the drivers and utilities and whatnot. And uh, there's the original colour chart they printed out, so I assume that I can get in there somewhere and print that out. In the menu, we've got the user manuals and we've got the installation manual and everything. Quick start guide. Oh... Okay, I plugged in a stick, because we do actually have an A3 thing I want to print. Oh, and it's it's vanished. It did have a print thing from external memory. Now it's gone. Uh, do I plug it in again? There it is. Yeah, um, <laughs> print a document from external memory. There you go, that's what I want to do. The Battle of the Green, there a battle of, the Battle of Grass Green. There it is, this is uh, Sagan's new board game. Uh, and he wants me to print this out. So, print, uh, I guess it'll give me the options, will it? Yes, it will. Paper, A3, please. Full color, yep. One sided, yep. And let's go. Let's see if it prints a PDF. Come on, you can do it. Full A3 color. Come on. Come on, because I'll show you the other one in a minute. <laughs> Ta-da! Well, it printed! It printed! Woohoo! Look at this! This is Sagan's new board game. He hasn't told me how it works yet, but anyway, he's very good at designing games, by the way. So, that's absolutely fantastic. And this here is my old A3 uh, dumpster printer, which used to work absolutely fantastic. And then we tried to print on it, um, and this is what came out. But even better, I think, is this one that I printed. This is a modern art masterpiece, and I do actually have a full modern art description for this, and I will frame it and sell it to the highest bidder. So if you're into your artwork, I'll leave the link down below. There you go. Look, it's beautiful. How could you pass that up? Frame it and everything. I'll even sign the back of it. Wow. Fantastic. There you go. That is an absolute keeper. Give the uh, glass a bit of a clean. The scanner mechanism works. The printer wo absolutely works. I'm going to assume that's absolutely full on the black there. It looks like it, it must have like a white background there, just like the others. So it looks a full, to almost full toner. Oh, anyway, you've got to give that dumpster find a thumbs up. Catch you next time.